Alright guys, what is up? Casual K Kyle here, and today we got another cloud chasing thing. We got a Doge RDA to review. Roll the intro. Alright guys, so this thing is pretty freaking sweet. I've been combining these two together, the Segeli 100 watt with this Doge RDA, and it's just, oh my god. Like, clouds for days, if you want to go into a cloud chasing competition, this is what setup I would use. This is, this is what my setup would be, and it's just crazy. So I got a .3, I think .35-ish ohm coil on my Doge. Which is, which is a little high, but if you're gonna power it with 100 watts, that's 6.1 volts. So do the math on the ohms on that. But it's it's running at 6.1 volts right now. So <clears throat> this is a really hot, like really hot vape. It was like one second hit, and it was just just fucking insane. This thing has craziest airflow that actually wasn't even that hot because these these little rings on here are just amazing with that but yeah this thing's cool it's got the little the little doggy on there and yeah you'll see you'll see all the cool stuff the decks not as impressive as I wanted it to be but you know what if they made this with the same airflow and it was a four post four post well a three post with a center block would be a lot cooler and if it had a little bit of a deeper well It'd probably be my favorite Addy ever because it'd be really versatile and I could do whatever I want with it. But one thing you can do, you can take your trust handy dandy, trusty, your handy dandy little chef enough here, and you can just pop off the old fat top cap right here, and you can just put on your chef enough. Now you're really cloud chasing. This is this is actually what my setup would be <clears throat> for a contest. This is gnarly, dude. I think it's already dry. Yeah, it's already dry. Two hits dry. That's this is why I don't normally vape like this, but that's <laughs> that's something else, man. I, I've never experienced something where I can I can vape like that that much. And I mean, yeah. Let me just drip really quick. All right, get those drips in there. <clears throat> so this thing. Is really cool. I haven't experienced much problems with it. I did put too hot of a build one time on it, and I did um, melt my insulator. But luckily, it did come with an extra insulator. That's a cool feature. Everything that's you know advertising that it's a competition thing and it's cloud chaser should come with an extra insulator. Or you know what, any Addy ever should just come with an extra insulator because you don't know what kind of builds people are gonna put on. You know, it could totally melt their insulator, and that's a bad thing. When I melted mine, I immediately took it off because you don't want to like vape plastic <clears throat> and yeah <sighs> it this second one has actually been doing really good i've been like way too careful with it but it's been doing it's been doing all right and all the the center post doesn't spin too much i tightened down the bottom really hard so that the center post wouldn't um spin and it hasn't spun itself out yet i mean it's been going strong like that the screws they kind of stay in some the the negative screws do like to screw out on it but the center post screw is really awesome i wish the side post screws were the same as the center post screw because then it would be a lot easier to build and it'd be a lot i mean they wouldn't screw out as often but yeah it for what it is this rda is really cool and it's really not that expensive i think it runs around 45 ish bucks which for an authentic is unheard of like that's amazing on the price and yeah it might it, i think i've seen it range from like 35 to like 50 dollars so it's it's a team cheap rda right there it's it's pretty freaking sweet that's that's really what i gotta say about it so let's take it up close so we can see a little bit more of these features in here i'll see you down there 
All right, guys, so here is the Doge RDA all up close, and uh, the packaging has got to be, like, the funniest packaging I've ever seen in my life. It's just all this cardboard, and it's got Doge and the Kate, and this is WoW and the Adventures of Doge and all that sorts of crap, and there's just Memeville here, more meme, and then you open up here, and in here was a different bag. I decided to put it in a baggie that I, like, can reseal because it was just a piece of plastic that you have to rip open to get everything but it um <clears throat> it comes with three posts again you got a middle post and two other posts and you got a copper post uh, for your center post if you want to do that and three extra o-rings so just cool stuff and not some coils like it could have done but i'm glad they didn't and then there you have it right out of that little pouch right there is your fat ass doge rda and yeah, so this thing is pretty, pretty enormous on those. There's eight fins on this. So it's uh, like by far the tallest dripper I've ever had in my life. And uh, the airflow, I forget how big. It's like something crazy. I don't even think they say on here. Uh, it's just this massive dual Cyclops airflows. Yeah, I, I don't even know how big these are. <clears throat> how I don't know how you could measure those, because they're <laughs> really fucking big. Like, I have a 10 wrap of 24 in here, and it's not even halfway at all. So, just go off of that. But what you can do is you can take off the top, and you can actually adjust your airflow, which is a cool feature. And there's a little one for a, sing for a single coil that you can do. Uh, just a little bit weird. Like, you got your single coil like that. And the other one's kind of knocked out. But if you're not careful, you can like, you can do that. And then it's kind of open on the other side. It's kind of, it's kind of wonky on the single coil. But this, everyone knows this RDA isn't meant for single coil. It's meant for a dual coil, fat ass cloud. And yeah, it definitely does that. If you take this, like I've been doing sometimes, I'll take right over here. Oh, am I chuff enough top cap and you stick that chuff enough right on top here which it definitely does fit you just boom like that chuff enough fits on there this is like just breathing in like it's like fat drip tip and like fat airflow <clears throat> it's really just like breathing in normally it's not even like a restrictive draw at all there's no restriction when you're drawing so it's like impossible to do a long hit because you're just gonna blow it all in too quick and yeah and you can't adjust when you have this guy on here, but it's just that's just cloud chaser mode. And uh, the wrap I have in here right now is a 10 wrap of 28 gauge or 28 10 wrap of 24 gauge dual coil, and it's reading out 0.3 ish. And then I'll put it on my Scaly 100 watt, and you can blow some major clouds with this. Uh, that's that's really what I like doing is doing 0.3 because then I can get it up to 5 point whatever volts and it's a really hot vape at that point. Or you can just keep it down. I mean, really, it's your preference. But let's get to the deck. So the deck right here originally did come with that copper center post that you saw. And um, <clears throat> the, you know, the the post holes are actually pretty, pretty large. Um... Yeah, I've been able to actually put in some twisted builds without much of a problem, but they are not super big, but they're not super small. You got double O-ring right here, little lip to stop your cap. You got a copper pin right here. It says WOW, and it has your serial number, 4,300, or yeah, 309. 4,309. So they made quite a few of these guys, and although that might look like it's adjustable, the copper center post pin is not adjustable because all it's doing is holding this in. It's it's one of those deals where like this is screwed in tight enough to keep this from spinning. And there's just an insulator inside there. That's, that's really how this one's built <clears throat> and how a lot of other Addies are built. So it's a really simple Addy. The, ju the juice well is kind of okay. It's, it's pretty much all this is is a tobe without the flaps over here and really crazy airflow and it did have like a so copper center pin so it was kind of a fusion of a tugboat with a tobe and, and you know what it's it's a really freaking cool addy and yeah it's just sometimes it's too much airflow for me and i can't handle that 
And one thing I've been noticing is not a lot of drip tips actually fit on top of here. Like this is my Plumeville clone drip tip, which, you know, it's okay, but I would rather have something else on it. Um, and let me grab another drip tip over here. Like here, we got this glass and brass one over here. And this one won't fit. The metal won't fit. And that's with a lot of drip tips. The metal won't fit on it. It's just like they made this just too small to fit anything, but luckily that drip tip fits on there. Luckily also, I use the Chuffnuff, and the Chuffnuff fits on perfectly. So, no problems with that. But, <clears throat> that is one con I definitely have to say about this thing. It, it can't fit drip tips. If you can't fit drip tips, there's really no point. You may as well go with the Chuffnuff, because, yeah, just go with the Chuffnuff. Like, it's... It's going to be a lot more airflow, and pretty much people are getting this for cloud chasing anyway, so get it for cloud chasing, go full out, use this. I'm going to slap some cotton on this guy, and then we'll take her up to the original screen. So see you guys there. saw it all up close it's pretty cool right pretty cool uh yeah this this is amazing right here this is crazy and it is conical on here i didn't even i don't even think i went over that on the up close it is conical up here and uh yeah the conical part actually goes into the fins so that's probably part of how it gets really cold it it like it goes in and the fins start below where it stops going like that and goes right to the drip tip like right here there's like you know some fins starting here so it's it's cool i don't know the design on there is really good the o-rings fit really nicely I, there's not much bad things i can say about it other than it did come stock with a copper post but it did come with a stainless steel post for people like me and other you know other vapors who don't want to have copper in their builds uh yeah so that was really cool how they were understandable about that with with the extra extra center post and um yeah i haven't even touched the copper one because i don't like vaping with copper inside there like that's the only reason i haven't gotten a tugboat or a tugboat v2 because ooh, i just don't i don't like having a copper center post or copper screws on there it plus copper is really fucking soft all right copper is soft i don't want to strip my screws when i'm putting some crazy build in there i want some stainless steel shit in there so it doesn't strip all right I've ran into some problems with things that aren't stainless steel on the deck. They like to strip. And I haven't tried with a copper one, but I would assume copper would strip because it's copper and copper strips. <laughs> that's that's what I got to say about that is copper strips. So as for the Doge RDA, I'm really liking it. Let's do a little cloud compilation. Well, let's get out of here. Alright, so there's a little bit of uh, some cloud time with that. You can see how gnarly it is. It's cray cray. Alright, it's, it's one of the hardest hitting RDAs I've had in a long time. Whew. Yeah, breathing heavy. Breathing intensifies, just like it says on the back of the box here. 
26650 intensifies. <gasps> you know? Yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, I like the packaging. I like the whole idea for it. I like how it's all Cloud Chaser. And they came with a stainless steel center post. I am all about this RDA. It's really cool. And it's not super expensive. Highly recommend this RDA. I highly recommend this RDA. It's awesome. I haven't ran into like pretty much any problems with it. The only problem with it is it's not something I would go to every day purely because it has so much airflow that I don't want to vape it all day. I don't want to vape something with that much airflow and that much cloud all day. I like something a little a little nicer, a little a little more restrictive. But if I want to impress people, if I want to go into a competition, if I just really feel like blowing some crazy clouds, getting a quick nick high, this thing definitely delivers that. Oh, man. The Doge RDA, it's a good buy. Uh, yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> really like Doge RDA. All right, let's keep on vaping YouTube and keep it casual.